So let's get these potatoes going. Um, these are Idaho potatoes. I personally like mine, and maybe it's the lazy side of me. I love the skins. Uh, like I said, maybe that's a good excuse for not wanting to peel them. But you know that all the nutrients are, is in the skin of these potatoes. Now, the Lady and Sons, we only use red potatoes. I love a red potato mashed. Uh, to me, they're, they're like creamier. An Idaho potato can uh, be a little bit mealier. So either way, you're going to have a delicious pot of mashed potatoes. Now I'm going to just chunk these up like I would for maybe a chunky potato salad. And like I said, I'm going to leave the skin on. Fire on. I'm going to cover these with some water and then I want to salt them. Okay, y'all. Uh, I cooked our potatoes off and remember I didn't peel them. I salted the water and I like my potatoes done. Ooh, in here. Let me help. Too late. I just did. Ow. You know, steam is hotter than like sticking your, I don't want you burned either. Uh, steam is like hotter than real fire. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Science. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so son, what we're gonna do now, if you'll put it back on the eye. All right, put it back over here on the fire. Well, I'm not done burning myself yet. <laughs> well, come on, cause I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn that fire back on and let that, the little bit of water that might have been down in there, I'm going to let it escape. And at the same time, I can't stand adding cold milk to hot potatoes. I like my mashed potatoes hot. So I'm going to just pour some milk in there. And that milk is going to get nice and hot. All right. So I'm going to add a little bit more salt. I'm going to add some pepper. Uh, normally I'd use house seasoning, but you know what? I hadn't, hadn't gotten any mixed up, so you know what I'll do? Because we have that little taste of garlic, I'll just do up a little garlic to make up for not having the house seasoning mixed up. All right, so I'm gonna cut off my eye because that milk is good and hot, and if you would mash those, some people like lumpy mashed potatoes, which I kind of like a lump in mine because that just lets me know and let everybody else know that these are real. These are not like flakes that you buy at the grocery store. So I'm not offended at all by that chunk of potato. But if you're one of those that likes some real smooth, then put these in your mixing bowl and do it with an electric mixer. And to me, this is the secret ingredient. Oh, I, I need the butter last. All right. To me, this is what makes our potatoes so good. And that's sour cream. All right, now I'm gonna test this for salt. But we take our butter and we kinda let it just sit on top like that. And then as people come by, they can reach in there and get as much butter as they want. Cause kind of just floats on top of those mashed potatoes. Me love. Mashed potatoes. Add potatoes. <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next challenge. Mm. I know. <laughs> All American. Made in the U.S. of A. That's the best for me, love. Oh my gosh.